Jake Ludington here at HP Discover, and I'm here with Brent Allen from the Converged Data Center Infrastructure Group at HP. And you guys have some new announcements about uh, what, what I would call playing nicely with others. <laughs> yeah, we've got a lot of stuff that we're doing right now. Um, with a growing set of what we consider our trusted technology partners uh, across the industry, um, one of the big things uh, here today that's big news for us is our partnership with Arista and the reference architecture work that we're doing with them. And it's directly associated with our Converge System 700 platform, which has been for quite some time one of our flagship uh, systems for our Converge Systems uh, group. And um, yeah, I, I think that that's going to be the first of many things that you see for uh, from us in that scale, and we're going to continue to push that. We're doing a lot more with the channel as well, so it's partnerships on multiple fronts, um, as well as with many of our uh, ISVs that we work with from a workload standpoint, so additional reference architectures coming from that uh, perspective. All of these things really kind of pull together to create a spectrum, if you will, to help our customers uh, to start with where they are, maybe take advantage of investments that they've already made inside of their data center, and be able to move in a cost profile that makes the most sense for them to a more and more converged world as they go forward. So what does this converged infrastructure with uh, with some Arista gear in it look like from a, I mean this, I know at a previous discovery you guys announced that um, Avnet was going to be selling converged systems that had uh, some Cisco gear built in. Is this a similar type of relationship? Yeah, just as a clarification, um, not only selling, because all of our uh, channel partners can sell and do sell our converged systems as long as they're certified on the pieces to do so, uh, but they actually are uh, building our converged system 700s in the channel as well. So we build them directly directly in the HP factory, but then Avnet does that as well. And we're working with uh, other distributors to be able to do that. With these reference architectures, we now take the next step uh, forward where it's not only a, a build-in factory from us or from a channel partner distributor like an Avnet or an Arrow or somebody like that, but it can go the next step further, further um, into the VAR level as well. So even in brownfield uh, accounts and, and situations uh, where a customer may want to take advantage of infrastructure acquisitions and investments that they already have on site, that value added reseller can actually come on site and work with a development effort to build out an environment. Right? Um, so that's just one example. So it really is a continuum from turnkey systems all the way through to a more expanded implementation inside of a customer's data center, pulling together resources that they already have. Now, from some of the, the HP competitors in the converged infrastructure space, there is, um, I, I have heard customer complaints around the fact that sometimes all of the pieces, when they're coming from multiple uh, vendors, don't right. all play nicely together. How is HP addressing that problem? Well, so for the longest time, we've been a big advocate of being able to um, have a stack end to end that we can control from a support perspective because we believe that it does provide um, the best customer experience, right? Um, we have a center of excellence that's set up to be able to triage problems across the entire infrastructure stack. Um, you know, we've set up all sorts of different pathways to provide our customer set with an experience that is literally second to none and treating the entire environment as a, a product in and of itself. Um, when it comes to uh, collaborating with some of these trusted technology partners, uh, we are working on setting up pathways with them so that the support is handled in a similar fashion. Now, it will not be exactly the same, and depending on the particular relationship and uh, alliance that we have, there are a variety of things that could happen. But now. This also is something that we've heard some complaints about is some of our customers um, don't have the budget to be able to afford some of the you know, lofty costs that may be associated with uh, uh, some of our support offerings, which we believe is very important to what we do. Um, but because of that, uh, we are opening this up so that we have more of a foundational level of support starting with, so that our customers uh, that may not have the uh, capital outlay uh, you know, up front to be able to purchase some of these things can fit some of these and right size them into their budgets, as well as we can continue to work with them on evolving what their particular support strategy is based on headcount resources that they may have, how they would like the deployment to go, and how they plan to continue to manage the systems ongoing, whether that's them managing their own firmware or us doing that on their behalf. Now, there's a new version of OneView out, I understand. How does that fit into this overall picture? There is a new version of OneView that has been announced and will be coming out, um, and that'll be HP OneView 2.0. 
and one view is literally the glue that we use inside of all of these systems. So it is it is the lifeblood that pulls it all together as one cohesive solid environment across servers, storage, and virtual connect, but now extending further and further up through networking in the form of top of rack as well. In fact, um, we've introduced with, uh, or will be introducing with OneView 2.0, the capability to support some select Cisco switches. You can expect OneView capabilities to continue to extend beyond the walls of HP as we go forward as well. Now, does this new uh, Arista relationship, is that also supported in OneView or not yet? So there have been discussions. Um, it is not yet, uh, but there are a lot of things that are in the in the development pipe. We'll leave it at that. <laughs> All right. Well, I look forward to seeing how uh, HP continues to allow people to build data centers that, that make sense for their needs. Uh, absolutely. Me too. I've been doing this for quite a long time. I've been talking to you for quite a while, Jake. And it, it's always exciting. It's always exciting to be out here. Um, things move so fast. Uh, but yeah, we're doing some really great stuff. And uh, yeah, folks need to come in and check out all the opportunities and, and capabilities that we offer inside of our Converge Data Center infrastructure portfolio. All right, thanks, Brian. All right, thank you.